Hello, my name is Taru Rastas. I work for the Ministry of Transport and Communications in Internet Services Unit. Our task is to promote the growth and use of digital services in Finland. And today I was asked to talk about open government in Finland and especially about open data experiences. Open government usually refers to transparency and accountability. Um, for example, fighting against corruption and empowering, empowering citizens to take part in societal processes like public consultations and decision making. But what if we look at uh, the open government from the perspective of uh, the role of the public sector? Uh, we can see that the role um, of public sector could be more as an enabler, uh, not just a provider of public services. This opens up a whole new view on public task, uh, which requires access to data, use of digital technology and opening up also uh, service processes so that people can take part in the collective development. So why open data? Um, for public sector, it means possibility of savings um, as administrative costs disappear in the long run, um, as data is available as a self-service in open interfaces. Developers create new and better services from data that add value to the public sector. Um, by opening up the data, different uh, administrations also build interoperability because then they can share these data reserves between them. For companies, open data means new opportunities for business. We have evidence already that open data provides especially for SMEs new growth opportunities and possibilities. And developer communities can create new solutions from the data. They can combine and mix and enrich the data in new ways. For citizens, access to information means better transparency in society, for example, for in public spending. So data access provides citizens better means to participate in the community issues that involves just them. And also media is now uh, taking up with the open data and use this data analysis and visualizations in telling news and stories to the public. So what we mean by open data? Uh, open in the strictest sense means machine readable a data that is made available for reuse, for no charge. And public here means data that is not subject to any limitations, like privacy in, in personal data, or trade secrets in company data, or security issues in any sensitive data. So governments, companies, citizens and other stakeholders, they all collect and maintain data which can be useful for reuse as an open data. So this is not just about the public sector and these mashups using different data resources and crowdsourcing are the key elements in open data. And therefore, therefore we need to encourage also companies to open their data reserves. And data can be used for service development and um, new web and mobile applications, algorithm services, data visualization. So possibility seems um, to be with no limits. So it will be interesting to see what is going to happen. So access to open data, it requires access in a society. And this is a political and collective issue where all the interest parties should be t should be involved, politicians, administration, companies, businesses, uh, developer communities, research, all parties together. Open data policy aims active measures to advance the accessibility of the public sector information. And different ministries in Finland have taken these actions already. Ministry of Finance is responsible um, on public sector IT 
and they have given some guidance on uh, charting policies and technical interfaces, architectures and so on. Our ministry, Ministry of Transport and Communications, we have been promoting open data since 2011, government uh, resolution, and by supporting the de uh, developers' uh, community actions in many different ways. And we try to show also a good example in, in our brands, in, tele, um, in transport and, and communication field, by opening up our, our uh, own data reserves. I will tell about this work later on in the next slides. So we have already proved that um, useful and innovative services uh, and applications, they will emerge as data is available. So in the long run, this will pay back all the efforts. In the international level, USA especially, but also EU, uh, have been promoting open data. For example, EU Digital Agenda um, up, sees open data as an important element for the creation of internal markets. So, work in the Ministry of Transport and Communication in open data has been both at the strategical and operational level. We have formed a working group uh, of our four different agencies, from Transport Agency to Meteorological Institute, Transport Security, um, agency and communication authorities. And now we have taken actions on opening up transport and communication data reserves. First, we identified data resources that agencies hold themselves and group them in four different baskets or groups and making the action that could be taken according to these different groups. Uh, so these are uh, the data that is already open and data that can be opened with no restrictions and then the data with some limitations of use that requires some specific actions like anonymization or some other forms. And then there's of course the data that is so sensitive and cannot be opened, for example, for national security reasons. So after this inventory, so we could start to prioritize these um, data resources in order to form a plan and a time frame for opening up these data reserves. And we call this plan a roadmap. Secondly, we clarified principles and practices that are connected to data provision. So in practice, users quite often call that the terms of use are confusing and really too complicated. Uh, and we want to make sure that uh, in our administrative field, uh, these practices are really user-friendly as possible. And uh, also IT systems, they need to be modernized in order uh, to provide data in open interfaces. And this is quite a long journey with a long-term project that, is, uh, that we are now doing. We also touched upon, um, upon uh, changes in law that are needed in our brands and these preparations are in the pipeline now. To promote the use of transport and communication data, uh, we make known our data reserves by communicating them uh, via like web communications and taking part in different um, apps competitions and seminars by telling people what are those data reserves that are available. Good example of, uh, of this collaboration with users and at the same time learning how to deal with the data reserves and opening, uh, opening data is piloting. And for example, Transport Agency and Meteorological Institute, they have started beta practices that have proven to be really useful in testing data and also to get feedback from the users. From, from the users. And for example, Met Meteorological Institute, they have a Facebook group for this and the transport agency, they have a, a whole own website where they provide samples of data as a beta, beta versions. There are also needs for shared platforms where different data can be combined for cooperative use. And uh, we have, for example, identified this kind of a service need for situation awareness. So situation awareness 
is especially needed in time of storms. If you can imagine that it's minus 20 in Finland in the winter time and electricity and communication networks are cut off because of the storm, it can be a matter of life and death. So in situation um, awareness platform, critical information on communication and energy and transports and weather, for example, are brought together and um, to form a combined view on, on this situation to sh share it with different um, relevant stakeholders. Uh, this is an illustration on the roadmap uh, in a time frame that we have formed. It shows the data or those data reserves that our agencies are planning uh, to open uh, in next coming years. I want to share it with you as it expresses well the strength of our work. Even if the starting point and these data reserves and practices, they differ quite uh, a lot in different agencies. But anyhow, they have found this um, cooperation really useful uh, as everyone could learn from a uh, different perspective uh, from agency to and agency. Sorry, this is in, in Finnish, but just to make kind of it, but hopefully you can, can get the idea of the importance of how to schedule this planning. Uh, as we proceed with the open data actions, new questions and challenges arise all the time. And now that different players open their data, it comes clear that we need to, first of all, describe data, that is metadata, uh, or structure, structured information about data content and sources in order to understand and easily find this relevant data. And provision of data requires also that agencies can give um, technical and practical assistance for users. At the national level, there has been discussion. Oh, now it's um, has been discussion on clearinghouse functions that could gather data providers and users by providing a platform for data. As data is bet best known and provided directly from these agencies, there need to be help desk functions um, in these organizations too. All putting data requires also resources, uh, so funding issues are critical and need to be solved in the long run. And many agencies uh, get quite significant incomes by selling this data and they need some compensation for this income lost. Um, and renewing IT systems is costly and we need to find innovative solutions to move from this proprietary IT system to open infrastructures. Especially regarding real-time uh, data, uh, there's going to be some decisions to be made uh, on how to organize the distribution and maintenance of these massive data resources and cloud computing uh, offers possible solutions here. Um, this is a screenshot uh, of the Finnish data portal where different agencies, they can inform um, about their open data um, that builds a link list in this website. There are plans in the Ministry of Finance to update the data portal and add, for example, metadata to the services. So work is in progress, that's the sign here. In Finland, um, Land Survey uh, has been the forerunner in open data. They opened up some really critical geo and spatial um, data for free use last year. And geographical data uh, is a key to the most open database services, as services are often grounded and visualized uh, on maps. So this could be the first in the list of the data openings in any country. And same sort of enabling role can be connected, for example, to weather um, and area codes. 
to promote the use of data for new services, we need to engage uh, and kind of uh, inspire uh, all the key players uh, to come along. And till today, the culture of openness has been quite a passive in a way that information is provided if you are able to ask for it. But now it's changing and, um, and um, we could say that there's um, this active data policy environment now that administrators are expected to provide their data actively for free. And this creates a new culture of openness in the, go in, in the government. And in Finland, I have to say that we have really strong development community, which is a really strength for Finland as, as, um, and, and, and a key for, for things to proceed. They build up, uh, they build open data applications, but they also give valuable feedback and expertise for us. Um, I'd say that an ecosystem is now built around open data uh, that involves developers and administrations and this dialogue and cooperation is a crucial thing that things kind of progress. Also research on open data uh, on its implications and effects is really important at the economical and social, social level as well as interna international cooperation. I would say that competitions can be seen as important vehicles on bringing out good examples of what open data is used. Um, we are partners and financiers of apps for Finland competition that encourage app, app development. And this competition is just about to start for the fifth time. Um, last year there were over 100 uh, participants, apps, ideas, data visualizations, which took part in the competition. So here we can see some real examples of Finnish open data apps. For example, there's an app to check from the barcode of the book if and where this book can be found in the public library. There's quite a lot of uh, public transport navigating uh, application that also combines different transport modes like buses, trams and trains. Tax Receipt is, um, is a website that tells you how your tax money is used for public spending. Parkman uh, is a handy solution for car parking and Blind Square make sense by hearing what's around you, use, use, around you spe, uh, using Foursquare data. And this is especially used for blind people because it gives the directions by, by hearing. So, if you'd like to read more about open data, you could visit uh, www.julkinendata.fi site where you can find our guide on public data. Uh, it's now some years old already, but not too outdated to find out basic principles about open data and how to take first steps in opening data. And this was just a snapshot on different areas in open data that we are working with. And if you are more interested in issues, in more background materials, so you can always contact me by email. I'm happy to ans answer any questions you may have on open data and to share my knowledge with you. Thank you.